and we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a cross zoom in Premiere Pro. I've got two video clips, I'll put them in my timeline, I'll unlink them and delete the audio files as we don't need them. Let me make the second clip a little bit shorter. And what we've got is this and this second file. So let us add the default cross zoom. On the video transition, we zoom and cross zoom. You will find it, drag and drop it on your video files. Click on OK. If you've got a warning message, if you click on it, you can see it in your effect controls panel. You can send it at the cut, start or end at the cut. Depending on what video files you use, we will stick to the center position here. Let me just roll the clip now and you can see the effect applied. So it zooms into the center position and then zooms out of it in the second video file which is A on the left the first file and B the second file and you see these little circles in the center of A and B. They indicate that we will zoom in and out in the center position. Just check this box and you can see your two video files in the effect controls panel and now you can reposition the circle. Now it will zoom into this position and not to the center anymore. The second one is still in the center and it zooms out of it. Let me reposition that as well. And now I'll roll the clip once more. It already looks nice, but we have the problem that the more it zooms in, the more pixelated our video file becomes. It's not a perfect result and we might want to adjust that as well. A good way to do that is a blur effect. Just type in blur and under video effects blur and sharpen you will find the Gaussian blur. Let us use this. I'll drag and drop it on both video files. I'll activate the first one and now I'll go to the first frame where our zoom starts, where our cross zoom effect starts. I'll go to Gaussian blur, blurriness and activate an animation with the, with the stopwatch icon. Now I'll go to the last frame of the first video file and I'll add a keyframe over there and now I'll increase the blurriness. So at the starting position the blurriness is zero and at the end position we've increased it to around 70. Let us go to our second video file. The first frame it needs its blurriness once more start an animation and increase it to around 70. Go to the last frame, add a keyframe and reduce blurriness to zero. And here is the effect applied. You can see we will zoom in and the more we zoom in the blurrier it gets and that hides our pixelation. The second video file, it's blurry then it zooms out and it becomes sharper and sharper. And this is how you can create cross zooms in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.